Hey folks, welcome back to some more Ocarina of Time with me, Fungman. Last time, after Link's done swinging his sword, we came here to the Great Deku Tree, we came down to this floor, and now we're going to finish this dungeon off. In this video, so first off, as you may have noticed, there is a golden skull tower here. Can't miss it. He died! Climb it up, get his token. And that is the second of four in this dungeon. So, shimmy shimmy shake over here. Here we have a switch. Step on the switch. Papa. -pa. It's been a while since I last recorded this, actually. It's been about. Less than a week. Is it less than a week? It must be less than a week. Hello. Well. Seconds into this video, and already we've got two golden skull towers, but this is our fucking heart. Yep. I don't know how to get inside out, but <laughs> I know well enough to know that they like their hearts in this dungeon anyway. Not so generous later on in the game. As we find out, no doubt to my displeasure. I have a wee trick with the deco sticks once you set them on fire, I'll just show you quickly. Pretty basic trick, but it's worth showing off. If you get it, then you manage to get to your objective. Say there's like a uh, torch that's not light here, you light it, then you press it to put away. Saves your stick. Makes life a lot easier. If you're a conservationist, you're a deco scrub. He died. Come here, you bastard. Oh, yeah. oh, fucking hell. I don't think you need to get them, but you may as well. Please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. Shlita loves the habit scissors. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one, twenty-three is number one. That hurts like hell. Like seriously, don't stop that shit. Do you think I'm a traitor? Well, then he fucks off. And... These eyes, you shoot them. It opens. It's like magic. Except... Not really. Uh, Listen! After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. Bet there are some interesting things underwater. Please know what there are at very few points in the game is. There are enough interest in the water. Dear yeah, God, so you want. Bit of a yawn. I don't know I'm tired, this might be a day. I seem also tired. Tired or just eaten when I record videos. Thankfully I haven't just eaten. Fuck the time this wrong. What you need to do is lower the water so you can get past underneath that thing. chance of making it. Stand on this. Come on, you bastard. Oi! Thought, thought I hadn't made that for a second. I was gonna go try. Oi. I do not like Skulltellers. Shut the fuck up, you whore. I can tell the nice people at home what to do. <laughs> You're just doing my job for me now. Not my job. You know what I mean. Pay attention to what the action icon says. And as Navi said, the ones. Pull over. Thank you there. Go get some shit. We climb up. Oh, no, just climb. See, that's the one scenario where you don't just walk towards something to climb up it. It's with it's a block. Not entirely sure if the clone was too difficult or what, but. Also, you look silly to me. Die! Christ on a bike. Here, I may be able to show you the trick. In fact, I'll be able to show you later. Over here. Put it away. Save my six. I will pass the trick or something. 
the way. It's not a complicated trick, it's not a hard trick. But it's a wee trick for you. See? Not a dick. So the tiles are a bit weird in the way they attack. They kind of jump down, they look at you, and then they look away. Oh, that's a new type of enemy we've got here. This is Goma Larva. You have to wait to try to pass. It kind of flashes red and jumps at you. Like that. Comes. He died. Okay. Got some hells. Um, down this way is a way we're going to go later. We're going to come back here. Plot twist, not really. Uh, but right now we're going to go this way, so you want to get your stick. Come with fire. Oh, sorry, I need to drink that. My throat's been dry all day. I don't know why. I was out last night, but I don't think it's anything to do with it. Quite honestly. I wasn't shouting. Uh, and what you're going to have to do here is... You have to push this block... All the way over here. I like how the Great Decker Tree's got like... Gratings inside them. He's got a whole sewage system inside them. Is this like... Is that about like his anus or something? Because I mean... He has just a tree, he's not a build. This dungeon unsettles me. It just doesn't make sense. You get the flame come over here, then you use your stick to see. And oh my lord, I'm going to fall! Fall down here. And this is where our little friend's advice comes in handy. As you can see, we have three Deku Scrubs, all of whom are about to shoot their shit at me. I'm just going to kneel it. Hell yeah. So, two. I think this is three. Sometimes you get three and one mixed up. That's usually pretty embarrassing. And one! Yeah, you have to attack him. You want to catch this one. No, don't you dare go back in that hole! Oh, you faggot. How did you know our secret? How irritating! It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you! In order to administer the Kip de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned! Oh, Queenie. Yeah. So, yep. So now we're progressing, as you can see on our map screen. We have been everywhere, haven't we? <laughs> No, you missed the whole room, oh my god! No, I've been everywhere, so now we're going into the boss room. Save our progress, and... Ha, hey, ha, hey, ha! Ha, hey, ha, ha, ha! It's quite a scary room, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably... Yeah, probably my favourite boss room. Just when you look at the atmosphere, it's creepy as fuck. Uh, no, I can't think of anything that's creepy uh, better than this. I don't really like any boss rooms more. There we have it now. What you do what I do. Go into first person or get your slingshot out, whichever you prefer. Do you look up? Oh, hello! This is our first boss, the parasitic armored arachnid Goma. I don't know what to do. I can't hit her until she does that. Then you just want to. Absolutely. So you can do it in one cycle, but I've fucked up. Um, not a tough boss. All you do is, when she opens her eye, hit her with a deck or not, or hit her with uh, your slingshot. If she goes up there, hit her with your slingshot in the eye. Stab the hell out of her. Until she dies. I could have made it last longer to show you all the little intricacies of the things she does, but see, to be honest, you probably won't see them. Because she is 
a ridiculous easy boss. There's no reason for me to mess up. Like, I lost half a heart and there was no reason for it. But this little fella... Heart container. Increase your maximum life energy by one, so now we have four hearts instead of three. Uh, make sure you pick them up. When I last played through this game, I played it through with a friend and... At the end of one of the later temples, she did not pick up the heart container and had to go all the way back through to get it. Thankfully, she didn't have to fight the boss again, though that would have been hilarious. But uh, she had to go all the way back through to get the container, and it wasn't. It wasn't fun. It wasted a lot of time that didn't need to be wasted. So yeah, make sure you pick up, and then you go into the vortex. Takes you right outside the dungeon, so here we are, back outside the Great Deco Tree. Well done, Thong Man. Mario. I need to stop watching my legs to tell videos before record. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell thee. Wouldst thou listen? No, Thogman, thou must know my time is short. <laughs> Fuck. Now, listen, care. Hey, listen! A wicked man of the desert casts this dreadful curse upon me. Racist bastard. Wicked man of the desert. <laughs> Bloody Arabs. They couldn't get away with that too. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile, sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Gods. A gods love, a gods. Before time began. Before spirits and life existed. Three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. The fucking Time Team Extreme Edition. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Faror, the goddess of courage. <laughs> and Jibby Jabby, the goddess of ridiculous fucking names. rock throw. It's super effective. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Cool. Nehru. <laughs> Nehru away. Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Apparently law means the sun and the clouds. Cool. Faror. But her rich soul produced all the life forms who would uphold the law. And lots of fucking fireflies, man. We must go! Our people need us! Oh shit! Then they crashed. Their three goddesses departed, their labors completed. Uh, something. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Got me some triangles. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor, they've tried anymore, to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before your- oh, Fuck you! Send me in there? To fight a crazy, one-eyed spider demon? Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. Don't cry for me! 
I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule, is what you'll hope. <laughs> Just chill him. <laughs> Fuck you, thug man. Go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take the stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. First spiritual stone, the Kakiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. Uh, this will be explained so shortly, so I'm not right now. The future depends upon thee, Thong Man. Thou art courageous. Now be the fairy. Help Thong Man to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. So damn emotional. <laughs> he was such a good character. That fucking tree. <laughs> Dear God. That makes no impact on me whatsoever, and it never has. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Thong Man. Fuck off. Goodbye, great deco tree. <laughs> I'm still alive, you idiots. Okay, well, before we go and deal with the invisible man with the pink fairy, uh, I think I'm going to end this video off here. Seems like a good spot to do so. So next time, folks, we're going to start our quest to Hyrule Castle. Uh, I will be seeing you then. Until this time, this is Thongman, and I am signing the fuck out.